Down to it, man. Listen, Willie D, Professor Griff, they need to do exactly what they're doing. It's not just on the side, just on the weekend, something that they do as a hobby. This is needed. Their bills depend on it. Think about it. Would they trouble themselves with all that has went on concerning AdSense and their channels if they really didn't have to? You see how their channels get terminated one day and then the next day they have a brand new channel. See, this is out of desperation because they want the AdSense to continue and never stop. Although when their channel is terminated, that would be a major delay in the money that they would be receiving because the people, they would have to um, subscribe all over again and watch the videos all over again. And that's if he has the older videos archived and ready to put on the new channel. Why would they hassle with all this when they really wouldn't have to? Because see, each one of them, they made millions of dollars. Back in the past, I'm telling you. Whether or not they would be honest with you and tell you that, you know, a certain amount of money that they had or not, they had it. Notice I said they had it. But because of poor management of their money, their finances, they need to do this now. They're desperate. They have to do this. This is a necessity. This is why if their channel gets terminated, they'll be right back. This is why when you heard Willie D say, I won't be able to create the videos without you giving me a certain amount of money because AdSense took a hit. He was never being truthful. You didn't have to believe him. I mean, he would have never left in the first place because he needed this. It's a necessity. Millions of dollars they once had. They should have enough money or had made enough money. To being able to take care of themselves. No problem. And I can guarantee you, if they did have that said amount of money, they wouldn't be doing what they're doing now. They wouldn't fucking care. Something to think about, I'm telling you. These celebrities that's washed up, that you hadn't heard from, then all of a sudden they got a fucking YouTube channel, they need something. They wasn't there for you when they had the millions of dollars. They didn't pass out money. They didn't say, hey, listen, I'm going to help this person. I'm going to help that person. I'm going to start this program. I'm going to start that program. You know, I'm going to do everything I can to give back to the people because the people made me. They only want to connect with you now because they need you. Think about it. Willie D doesn't care about you. He pretends to care about you because he needs you right now. See, the people, you made these celebrities in the first place. You supported their music. You supported their sport. You supported their movies. Whatever their skill is, you supported them. You are the reason that they had millions of dollars in the first place. And some of these celebrities have millions of dollars currently. But guess what, though? When the money is gone, they always come back to you because they know that you made them in the first place. So with their mentality, with their thinking, they think that you could just boost them up there again. But it's not going to happen. It's never going to happen again. You're washed up. You're done. You're talentless. You understand? That means you don't have any talent at all. And you barely had talent when you were in your fucking prime. At your fucking peak. I never did like the ghetto boys. I think the music was a fucking disgrace against black people. And they made money off of it and they didn't care. And now that each and every one of them is dead, broke, gutter broke. I ain't talking about you, you broke and... You got maybe $10,000, $20,000 in the bank. I'm talking about gutter broke where you were fucking jack a nigga just to fucking be able to buy toilet paper. You understand what I'm talking about? That's the kind of broke that Willie D is. I got more money right now 
in my fucking pocket than Willie D or Professor Griff has in either one of their bank accounts. And that's if they got a bank account. So I don't need to hate on them. And I damn sure ain't jealous of them. Why would the fuck I be jealous of somebody that's having to do this out of a necessity? I do it totally for free. I don't monetize and I don't beg for money. But Willie D does. Professor Griff does. It's a necessity for them. It means if they don't do it, they don't eat. And stop believing this lie that Willie details constantly, you know, when he wants more money from you. I'm going to stop doing videos if you don't give me a certain amount of money. Get the fuck out of here, nigga. You're not going nowhere. You got to do this. You got to do this. And if I'm wrong, prove me wrong. And you know how you prove me wrong? Have this nigga unmonetize every video that he has monetized. Have this nigga stop begging for money and give back the money that he has collected from all of you thus far. Then it'll prove me wrong. I guarantee you that nigga wouldn't do that because he needs every dime that he collects from you. It's a necessity. Poor management of your money, the millions that you want to hit. See, when the white man gave you that money, they knew you would be eager to give it right back. Buying rims and cars and, and gold chains and diamonds and all that bullshit. That motherfucker ain't got none of that shit now. Pawned all of it. Sold all of it. Now he needs your help. Now he's desperate. He's on bended knee now talking about this tragedy and talking about that tragedy. Nigga, get the fuck out of here, man. I see your fucking deception. I see your lies. You think somebody going for that bullshit, man? You desperate. You need this shit. People wake up and stop supporting these motherfuckers, man. They only need you when they down and out. They only want to connect with you when they down and out. When he had the millions, you didn't hear from this fucking nigga. And you wouldn't have heard from him. If he had enough money to take care of himself, if he had saved this money and managed this money right, I'm telling you right now, he wouldn't be on fucking YouTube. Neither would Professor Griff. Griff jumped at the chance to do that fucking reunion with Ice-T. And he lied to his people because he said he would never go back to the music industry. He said no amount of money would, would, would drag him back singing with the group. Rapping ever again with the fucking group under the music industry. But he broke his own fucking promise. That's why people don't listen to him now. They can't trust him. You lied, nigga. You lied. He jumped at the chance. And you know, I had multiple videos. And I said, listen, if he would ever get an opportunity, I can't prove that I actually had this video, but people that have been listening for years to me, they can, they can vouch that I had these videos about Griff. And I called it out. I said, if he would ever get an opportunity, I said, I can guarantee you he's going to jump on that chance. He ain't going to turn that fucking money down. And it was like six months later, he got the opportunity. He was so, he was so ashamed because he used to listen to every video that I would put up. Because he, as a matter of fact, he was responsible for two of my channels being terminated. He was so ashamed, man, that when he come back after after the fucking tour, you know, he, he had this elaborate fucking lie as to the reason why he went back and he tried to make it about the people and he said he gonna come back strong and he gonna build a studio and he gonna do this and he gonna make things better over here and make things better over there. That nigga ain't done shit. He got married. And I don't know why this chick married him because that nigga ain't got no money, man. She must have thought that, you know, he got millions stashed somewhere. This nigga ain't got no money. I'm telling you what's going to happen. She's going to divorce his ass. When she finally find out that this nigga ain't got shit, she's going to leave his ass quick, fast, and a hairy. I'm telling you, I ain't been wrong yet, and I ain't going to be wrong starting now. I'm trying to tell you. And Willie D, well, shit, man. Come on, man. Don't believe nothing that these niggas say to you.
I'm telling you, they are washed up, talentless fucking niggas that will take any opportunity. It doesn't matter. This nigga would rap in the fucking bathroom stall if you gave him enough fucking money. You understand what I'm saying? I'm telling you. You got more money than this nigga got. Fucking begging ass fucking nigga. Oh, support the cause. Join the movement. Join what movement, man? You ain't moving nowhere. You ain't doing nothing. Join the fucking movement. I wish I would join the fucking movement that ain't got nothing done ever. You ain't got no track record of nothing. Just begging for money more and more with your black ass. Talking about no more talk. How about this? No more talk. 